What's up guys? Welcome back, Supreme Team. Woo! Cutting out a quick aircraft. You guys will see what's going on with the other Swift 2 Pro that I so graciously made in flight yesterday. Make sure you follow my channel on YouTube, Supreme RC Reviews. I've been doing it for 20 years on YouTube, still can't get by. Nobody likes me, but that's okay. Piranha has the white stickers, but we'll do this real quick and fast, guys. Uh, they make a backpack for this, guys, just so you know. You can take this thing apart in a couple screws. I think it's like four or six screws. Four screws to make it backpackable. A real, real good phone. It was designed with Le Mans in mind. And the Le Mans racing team. Le Mans cars are the fastest. Let's make it look like a Le Mans car. It's got Kuke, uh his sticker on there, his autograph. And I've been following this guy for 20 some years. We're gonna get right straight into this thing. We're gonna get pumped up in here. You got the piranha. All right. Direction say. Do something. I'm just gonna tear the Chinese part off. This is the long wing stutter. That's all I need to figure out is where wings go. Why is that so? Oh, the magnets on the front side. Ooh, that's so pretty. Oh, you're launching. It's got lights all through. This thing is all lit up, guys. You can put satellites in the verticals, you know, where the rudders are, the vertical stabilizer with the rudder. You can tie your satellite in there without cutting anything out. This is quality. This is quality beyond quality. Uh, those guys at Flex Innovations, you know who you are. They are really doing it to it. As your quick guide for the ESC, we will keep that around because, but that's not what you guys are here for. You're here to watch me build this, crash this, and buy another one. The bigger two up front, which is, it, it happens, you know. Some some people like the small, short one first, and then take the big, long one second. You gotta get that long in in there second, and push that mug through. Little wing pee, little wing sh shiver me tembos. Slick it on, and the second hole for the whoop wop whoop wop. Flip it over. Before you seat it in, you want to find black to black. Black and long top happens to be on mine that way for the lights. Get it in there, pull it out, made it, click it, stick it, forget it. Alright, put the red in the back side. Okay, yeah. It out. Not that much. Okay, don't put a lot of weight downwards. Working it in. I'm trying to just kind of get a soft fit right now. Nothing like disassembling an airframe before you can build it. But we want to program the Aurora with our satellite. It's called B E A L E Blaze B controller. I'm sure I'll have a hobby wing in there before you know it. it. Is what it is. We'll see how this one does. How much racket it makes. And we're gonna put it together. It's already together. I'm just taking it apart to uh, get all the lighting hooked up. Cause these actually, if you look inside here, you got lighting all throughout it. On the door, baby. <laughs> Sorry, head. Watch the plan while you guys were chilling. All right, we're gonna bind our receiver real quick and just see what it is. I guess it came with, what's that? I guess it came with some kind of receiver believer. I don't know if I gotta hook this up to a uh, freaking computer to do this or what. Or we shall, it's not looking like what I thought it was. Uh -huh. just, just do it, just do it, we're fine. So we got little six incher and one like, I don't know, we'll probably call it a 10 incher. You know how the ladies like it. Smaller, wider, longer, skinnier, whatever, whatever, whatever. All right, so supposedly I could take this six incher and make magic happen. We'll get that plugged in there. This is the tricky part. I know nothing about the Aurora and I feel like probably yank it and just run an AS637T 
I T T Y something like that and uh, enjoy what I end up with. All right, so we're in. We're in like flame. I'm not gonna put props on. I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm just gonna grab transmitter, set up, and then button all this stuff back up. Plug the lights in. Plug all this freaking. Pop the nose on. The nose is magnetized. This is the regular nose. But if I were you guys. I will put a small piece of strip of tape, boom, or a small piece of strip of tape from the skid up, trim it in right here. I would also put a thin piece across here. It's nice to keep it on there. It's also nice to have it break off so there's goods and bads for all. It just depends where you're flying. If you're flying in the weeds and stuff, you know, landing in tall grass or for me I'm in snow so it wouldn't make any sense to tape it on right now. Because when I come in, it might hit a block of snow and just pop it right off. But if it was taped on and hit that block of snow, it might shatter it. I don't care. I got another one that has FPV. I won't use the FPV. We're going to find the controller. We're going to remote that thing. Get this thing click, clack, pin. And we're going to hit the field. What? Up in the end, for here. Feet of we. Look at that. Oh my pretty. Shoot to go through. I don't know what it is. There it is. Isn't that sweet, guys? It's all ready for. And then this guy. Deal. Put it in. Locks over top. Oh, that's nice. Locks over top of long spar. Put it over. Under everything. On the Aurora. All right, the setup is gonna be the fun part, guys. If you wanna see the setup, stick along. Otherwise, cut it out here and watch me fly. I love banks, but this thing here has got a little egg to offer. Ooh. Don't you go out there and spoil my grandson. I know, I wanna be the one spoiling him. I wanna be spoiling. <laughs> Reversed. Interesting. Reversed. Right we got some tuning to do. I will put a water side. Yeah. Venti back in back sound. It's okay, but I'm taping it on. It's got a little tape pull here to get down to that huge battery bay. Piranha hat on. We're gonna set up our trims and see what it's like. And we're gonna see what it's like. We're gonna set up the air brakes. We're gonna set up the throttle. We're gonna set up everything like it should be. That way tomorrow when we go, we're ready to go. Do do 15, 10, 4. Heavy. Set up air brakes, we're doing it. I'm gonna do something a little different with mine. I'm gonna take one of them. Come on, come on. Give it to me, Daddy. Ready. It is ready to put the air brakes on them. Let's do it. What's up, guys? We got the piranha out here. We're not gonna use the air, uh, the auto launch right now. Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't, but we are gonna go ahead, send it up, do a little test. Sorry about the sun, but that's where the wind is coming from. It's pretty good about half stick sorry I'll try oh manned aircraft up there manned aircraft do a quick stall little flat ski and pull out
Sorry about that. Let's see if we can get it to come in. Yeah, let's do another half loop. That one's blowing. I probably could drop it in, but I want to test these air, air brakes out, guys. All right, got a little throttle on it. We'll kill the throttle. We're gonna go full throw. Popped it up just to throw it down. Air brakes on, air brakes on, and set her down. Right here's my phone. <laughs> right there's the phone. Right here's where we landed. The air brakes are on, throttle hold, tested. Air brakes off. It did slow it down pretty juicy. We're gonna go ahead and give it another lunch. A little lunchy lunchy. I gotta make sure I don't step on my phone. <laughs> and uh, see how it does. I only flew for just uh, four minutes. Let's see if it got any time left in it. Uh, maybe, maybe not. We might come in hot, dead stick or something. All right, why does that seem like it's way faster? Oh my God. Oh my God. So much better. I'll burn it through. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Go into a little flat ski and then pull out, pull out, yeah. Oh yeah, buddy. Way better, way better. Props forward, laces out. Watch this, how much faster this pass is. Yeah, 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 now we're talking. All right. Now we got it figured out. So we'll come in. Here's air brakes. There's your air brakes. Look at that. Look at it hover. <laughs> All right, air brakes off and out. So sweet. No, so sweet. It slows it down so nicely. Does it do? Can I do a knife edge? I don't know. I'll have to learn. I'll have to learn my knifeies. But with the full battery, like this way would be this side knife edge. Yeah. Knife edge. Oh, inverted. <laughs> One more quick pass. Oh no, that's it. That's it. We'll save that battery because we are coming in hot. Oh, that's a fence. See if we can get it over the fence. I'm, I'm dead stick right now, guys. So hold it over the fence and dive the tree. And we made it. Throttle. That's full blast. That was it. <laughs> We did it. We landed it and flown it. This thing can handle a bigger battery, actually. This is what I love about these air brakes, guys. See them on, off, on, off. When I come in for a landing, and if I need more throttle, here's air brakes on. See, they adjust. They adjust to how my throttle setting is. So when I give it more throttle, Dead battery though, <laughs> but they work awesome. I can't, I was so skeptical about how they were gonna perform. This thing is sweet. It's quick and definitely eats up batteries. If you got a 22 or 24 6S, this thing will love it up. You get about four and a half minutes of moderate time. All right guys, so air brakes, sweet. Oh, what a beautiful day, Supreme Team. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Jesse. This is Supreme RC.